Hello, you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Dungaropa Ultra Despair hmm. Girls. We now have this this uh, this guy on our team. Uh, he says he's gonna help us get get um, get up, but I'm guessing like yeah, that way's cut off. So I have to go all the way back down. I am I'm guessing. Monokumas, oh, Jesus. be careful. <laughs> I'm guessing that he's. Oh, jeez. Stop it! Yay! Now we can use the stairs. I'm guessing he's related to Fujisaki. That's an amazing gun. I've never seen technology like that before. What a horrible fate! It really makes you feel the despair. So we're on ground you guys level. are so amazing fighting against the monokumas like that I'm impressed you wanna speed it up a little there it's not an exaggeration to say that my entire life up until now have been for the sake of Toa City I admired Toa City's tech sector and dreamed of working in this town and I've lived my whole life for that dream and finally my dream comes true and this is what happens why did it have to be here of all places? Why did it have to be now? Is the world doing this out of spite? I was supposed to test my skills in this city, but instead I'm running for my life. I wish I could take it back. I want my dream back. You're right. After everything, it just had to be here. Out of everywhere on Earth, it had to be to us to end up like this. What? You seem especially upset about it. Do you have some kind of reverence for this place? No. It's not quite that. Didn't I tell you I used to work in security? Well, I say security. What I actually did was architect security system programs. For someone like me, this place was truly something special. Yes? Something special? You're right. Toa City leads the world's technology industry in both complexity and scale. There are tons of engineers out there who come to Toa City to test their skills. Which reminds me... You're right. I think I've heard that somewhere. I heard that the air purifier developed by Toa solved the toxic atmosphere problem. Also... Also, Toa built advanced weaponry and shelters to fight against despair. Toa City is special for that reason, too. <laughs> but that's something I just learned recently. Could it be? If this city is so advanced, why isn't there a giant defense robot to fend off Monokumas? No. Um, I'm sure any kind of weaponry... Um, I'm sure that any kind of weaponry was stolen or destroyed when it this, all this first started. All right! And then nothing's changed. We gotta contact Future Foundation no matter what. Alright. So, we could go up. Oh, there mm. we go. As expected of Toa City. They're using the newest security systems out there. This is gonna be tough. But you can do it, right? Y yeah. I'll do my best. Something about his expression there makes me kind of nervous. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with the mouth. That's a pretty vague answer. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. My family used to think I was pretty unreliable, too. Family, huh? You, you guys, we just started. You don't have to get depressed right away. Y you're right. All right. I'll try. Okay. I leave it to you. So, how's it coming? I only just started. Yeah, well, it might take a little while, but with this, I might be able to do it somehow. Don't worry, no need to rush. Nothing really dangerous is happening right now. Oh, God. Uh, are you done yet? Please hurry! H hold on! I barely got started! What do we do? Isn't it obvious? We gotta deal with them somehow. Oh, We're God. done for. They surround us. Keep your distance and fight. But we have to protect him, too. Are you done? 
done yet? I'm on the fast. Wait, just a bit more. That was the last the one, right? <sighs> I'm almost done on my end, too. Phew. Yeah, it totally worked! Toko, all we gotta do now is use the elevator to go all the way to the top, right? The, the, that's right. Before we go any further, I really need to thank you guys. Thanks to you two girls, I'm finally starting to see hope. If the connection works well, I'm sure Future Foundation will come to us immediately. And when that happens, we're saved. What we're finally saved. Sound? We should even be able to see our families again. It's gonna be all right. Just a little uh... bit more. Let's keep it up and... Leave it to me. I... I'm sorry. It's just as I thought. I really am unreliable. I... I didn't mean to make you guys go it alone. Really? We're killing him off immediately? But... You guys will be fine. No need to worry. You'll be saved for sure. I'm glad I could... At least be a little help to you guys. I have a child, you know. You guys are all around the same age. But we got separated and... And all this time, I couldn't do anything. I... I wasn't able to see. Just one last time. That's my only regret. There's no point in staying here anymore. Yeah. Is this a handbook? There's a picture inside. Oh. So this is his child, huh? What a cute girl. <laughs> Separated from his family. Same as me. <laughs> he was probably worried about his family. Worried until the very end. I hope his child is doing well, at least. Hey, Omaru. Yeah, I know. I don't want to die separated from my family. I need to see them again. So I'm not just going to sit here. This man sacrificed himself for us. <sighs> Let's go, Toko. As long as Future Foundation comes, we and everyone else are going to be saved. Oh, I wanted to pick up the money. It just automatically threw me in there. Well, hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Hey, Omaru, got a second? I'm kind of nervous about this elevator. What? Uh, um, about Future Foundation. What? <laughs> Looks like the elevator stopped. Why? What? <sighs> Let's just force open the door. Y yeah. All the Monokumas. <laughs> oh, really? Um, hey, why'd you guys run here? Oh, I forgot that, you know, you were probably here. Did you think you could escape if you went somewhere real high up? But no matter where you run, it's pointless. 
The more you run from me, the closer you get. Cause the world is round, right? <laughs> Unless you're a flat earther. I knew it. You were waiting for us. Nah, the world is still round, even if you want to believe it isn't. <laughs> so, how do you feel to have someone waiting for you? Oh, is this an... Is this an... Um, pointing out towards the fact that you're a latchkey kid? Were you even more grossed out? Or, or maybe, do you hate me even more now? I don't know, you're weird. Oh, like I said, I already hate you enough. No, that's a lie. When adults look at things they truly hate, their eyes are not weak like that. I know it. I've seen those eyes since the day I was born. Don't tell me. The reason you hide your face is because of some trauma or something. Well, not that it matters. I'm just curious about how horrible your face looks. No, you can't see anything but that. If you see my face, your eyeballs are gonna rot off. There you go, making no sense again. No, you're wrong. It's the truth. They're really gonna burn right off. If they don't, then, then why did she force me to wear this mask? Why? Your mother made you wear that? Why was I forced to wear this stuffy mask every single day? I'm just that horrible. I'm just so ugly and hated more than anyone else on Earth. I bet my head just got really twisted because the doctor pulled too hard when I was born. And then my skin pores got all crushed and my hair got ripped and my face got pulled. And my ears are just barely sticking to my face like meatloaf thrown up onto a wall. And my lips are inside out and my gums are dry and rotten and brown. And my nose is just a shriveled little lump of meat. It must be horrible. That's why she was ashamed to show me to people. You don't look like other kids. That must be what she was talking about. What? If you see such an awful face, your eyeballs are going to get crushed and you'll faint. So that's why I'm not wrong! I'm totally, totally right! Jeez, I just mentioned the subject and you totally went off the handle there. Meaning you basically just want revenge against the adults who made you suffer, right? Huh? Oh, oh. Oh, I see, you're just mistaken. It's not something cheap and silly like that. We just want to change the world, that's all. We don't really have to understand. Demons aren't needed in our world anyway. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine! We're gonna make a kid-only paradise! <laughs> I feel like when I've listened to this, kid ramble on and on. At some point my brain just feels like it's shutting down. Huh? Why are you all booing? Unforgivable. No matter what kind of reason you have, whether you're an adult or a child, you killed people. So many people. Like it was nothing. And I'll never forgive that! Ever! That's it! Those are the eyes I was talking about! 
The eyes that just scream hatred. <laughs> Big sis, <laughs> looks like you're finally disgusted by me for real. <laughs> But I don't know about what you said, comparing likes and dislikes and good and evil. I mean, we're trying to bring peace to the world, you know? That's why there's nothing wrong with us. No matter how much you hate us, we aren't wrong! What are you? You kill people and laugh about it! And say that you aren't the ones in the wrong? Unforgivable! Huh? Why? Why are you all cheering for the enemy? I don't know. It seems like you're not very well liked amongst the kids either. Oh, I guess it's that I'm even hated by the kids, too. <laughs> See? They hate me. They really hate me. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> if I'm hated this much, then there's no point in faking friendships and trying to be liked. I'm free to do anything I want. Bodies become pretty objects, let me tell you one more time. No matter how much we're hated, no matter how much we're shunned, we're definitely not wrong. That's the real truth. Because Big Sis Junko said so. Big Sis Junko? Isn't Big Sis dead? Junko, the only one who loved me, the only one different than other people. Big Sis Junko, the one who gave us our sparkly hope. Those adults who took her away from us and said that she was the bad one. They're the filthy ones, they're the ugly ones, the disgusting ones! If I win the demon hunting, I think Monica would be pretty oh. disappointed. Ah, I want to drink day old cocoa and have Monica look at me like a piece of filth. I can't see the weak point on this one. Yeah, I don't see it. For now, we should just hold out. <laughs> Serial killer bomb punishment! Oh, Jesus. The bomb. Is there some way we can repel it? You're right. I totally forgot. Oh, wait. Do you hate me? There's a way to push. Dirty demons got sterilized! Amaru, the top of the head. That's the weak spot. How did you get that? That doesn't seem very nice. A demon using a gun like that. Ultimate attack! Mass murder bomb punishment! Come back! Even cut up into pieces! You'd make such a pretty work of art! There's no way the warriors of hope will lose to a demon!
fighting again. What in the world is this? He wasn't... He wasn't ugly. He was... He was adorable. I'm confused. Serves him right. What did you say? Let's go, Toko. Are they actually... I don't think they're killing them, are they? Oh, look. They have an X over this one. So I guess this was the symbol of the, the first kid. I see. Going up? Observation deck. We're at the top. All we gotta do now is use this wireless device that Shirakuma gave us. Toko, what is it? Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, and contacting Future Foundation is. I know, I know, I should hurry up with it, right? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. Is she not gonna do it? What happened, Toko? <gasps> what? Because you can't do anything, I'm setting it up for you. Just wait a minute, will you? Oh, sorry. All right, here you go. Hello? Can you hear me? Someone please respond! It says it's connecting. I beg you, please answer me! <laughs> Do you not know what connecting means? <laughs> Looks like it didn't work. Well, that's just too bad. We should uh, probably give up for now. Oh, this is Foundation. This is Future Foundation. Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Loud and clear. Foundation. Branch number. Branch number 14. Makoto Nayaki. Makoto? Huh? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah, not a perfect report card. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Far beyond even my expectations. All right, I've decided. I will restore the glorious Togami family with you. But first tell me, what is the size of your ring finger? A ring would look good on you. Chapter 2, Legend of the Revolution, end. And we're going to go immediately into uh, Chapter 3 here. <laughs>